Come on, Naomi. Stay with me. Up you go. Get out of here! Can you move? Yes.
sorry. I'm a little busy right now. Thank you. Again, our paths cross. Ugh! <laughs> 
Could you be the one to finally finish me? She got away. Are you sure about this? It's all part of the plan. The test was a failure, even with his code. As I feared, it's not pure enough. We need all of him. The PMCs we deployed have suffered brain damage. Nothing salvageable remains. Our only remaining option is to secure the original. I know that. Working as fast as we can to find their hiding place. I need you here too, Vamp. Hang in there. Vamp. He's got to be immortal. No. He's not immortal at all. It was my design that caused his body to be like that. Huh? What do you mean? The nanomachines in his body cause his wounds to close and heal at an accelerated rate. Someone took the basic nanomachine technology I once researched and perfected it. In a sense, I'm responsible for Bam. He's one of my sins. Does your body have the same nanomachines? I brought a monster into this world. And... I too... Right. Hold him down! He's losing too much blood. Can you save him? I don't know. He needs a blood transfusion. No, an infusion of artificial blood. Snake. Right. Enough is enough, Snake. You can't take any more of this. I'm not dead yet. That's not what I mean. You can't beat Liquid. He's got the Patriot's own control system on his side. Not only are weapons useless, but the U.S. military is in shambles. And even if it weren't, Liquid's got enough men and machines to match it. Snake, we've lost. Bodicon, <coughs> we never stood a chance. <laughs> it's not about winning or losing. I 
No. We started this. <sighs> and it's our duty to finish it.
here. Alone. This is my fight. My destiny. Dr. Emmerich? Mei Ling. I got the results back. It's official. He's on Shadow Moses Island. We lost Metal Gear Mark II's signal along the way, but the ship was headed in the direction of Shadow Moses. This is a picture of the island taken by a civilian imagery satellite. The sea line is rising due to global warming. Have you heard that the entire Fox Archipelago is about to slip into the ocean? The surrounding islands have already been evacuated. Hmm. Liquid's arrival there can only mean one thing. He is going to use Rex. That's how it looks from here. All the Metal Gears after Rex were embedded with system IDs. Then what about Rex? What did Washington do with it? The nuclear disposal facility on Shadow Moses hasn't been touched since the incident. That was nine years ago. The president of Arms Tech and the DARPA chief were killed, and the secretary of defense was arrested. By the time the Shadow Moses incident was over, there wasn't a single person left there who knew what took place. It was as if nothing had ever happened. The data was either falsified or erased, so no traces would be left behind. We were exiled to desk jobs for the same reason. Rex and the nukes should still be where they were nine years ago. Untouched. A forsaken island. A haven. Well, I'd say it's more like a forgotten island. <coughs> and it's sinking too. I thought I'd never go back. It'll take me a while to get there, but I'll be backing you up from aboard the Missouri. She's the only ship in the fleet still able to move, since it was decommissioned before the system was put in place. And Hawaii's not that far away. Otacon, you're not wearing your glasses anymore. Oh, uh, I... yeah, uh, I switched to contacts. <laughs> we rendezvous at Shadow Moses. Submits to heaven shall live. He who defies heaven shall perish. I have to atone for my past, too. Rex is a beast. Born from my research. Let's go. Shadow Moses awaits.
thing. Look out! The rig can self-destruct!
He was never an immortal. His natural healing abilities were enhanced by the nanomachines inside his body. But, after so many battles, he's finally reached his limit. Doctor, he's my pain. <laughs> you something what is it I cooked them right I see good for you Sonny you finally did it No, I can't save you. You have to trust me, Dr. Emma. Give this to him. Not for revenge, but to end his suffering. thing we can do is end it. Snake. Huh. Liquid's down below us. He's stolen the Patriot system, slipped out of their sight, and taken their Ark. Ark? A warship, unfettered by land, law, country, or network. The only place where they are truly released from the shackles of the Patriots. The place where they can be free. Outer Haven. Outer Haven? Liquid plans to launch the nuke from that ship. Uh. Snake. You have been given life, so that you may fulfill your purpose. When all of this is over, you'll have no choice but to accept death. We are given life only so that we can atone for our sins. Your life was created for that very purpose. We all must atone for our own sins. We must not pass them on to the next generation. We must not leave them for the future. That is your true fate. One that even you cannot defy. Naomi! <laughs> what have you done? Vamp and I, we are the same. We're living corpses. Our bodies kept barely alive by nanomachines. Then you... Cancer. I shouldn't even be alive right now. The nanomachines have kept it from progressing. But there's nothing more they can do. 
With the nano machines gone, time will unfreeze and begin to flow again. What are you saying? Goodbye.
Think again. Sorry, but that won't work this time. Behold! <laughs> Liquid! these tourists around you. They were asking me which building it was that King Kong was climbing in the movie. I said it was probably the Chrysler building. And then you showed up and started mouthing off. You were like, no, it's the Empire State. I said the Chrysler building was in Godzilla. We started arguing, and I forgot all about the tourists. The next thing we knew, the tourists had gone away. And a week later, I found you again by coincidence out in the base corridor. An amazing coincidence. That night, we went up to the top of the Empire State Building. It was so beautiful. I didn't care anymore who was right. And that was our first date. We watched King Kong in your apartment a bunch of times that night. Didn't sleep till morning.
breathless fossil. It's my 
duty to put an end to all of this. All right. I'll make sure they don't get through. Stay with me, Snake. Hold on until we insert the virus. Jack, how are you feeling? Do you mind if I sit down? Jack. Don't shut me out. I need you to listen to me. 
What do you want? Come to laugh at me? Oh, no. Look. Look at the boy. Cute. Campbell's kid. No. He's yours. I don't have any kids. He's your son. You said miscarriage. I lied. I had a healthy baby boy. Roy pretended to be my husband. To protect me. And our son. Only until you completed your mission. To shield us from Patriot eyes. What? <clears throat> he didn't even tell Meryl. He sacrificed everything. Even his family. To protect us. I don't believe it. I'm sorry, Jack. I wanted to tell you. So he's really... John, aren't you going to say hello? Superhero. from Beauty and the Beast. Don't say that. You're no beast. You're my husband. And his father. And me. 
I'm going to do my very best to be the wife and mother this family deserves. <laughs>